Who has the right of way at a four way stop where all drivers are faced with stop signs? A. The first driver to arrive at the intersection. B. The driver on the left. C. Any vehicle approaching from the right. Answer A. The first driver to arrive at the intersection. If two vehicles reach an intersection without stop or yield signs at the same time, who yields? A. The driver on the right. B. The driver on the left. C. Both drivers. Answer B. The driver on the left. In a situation where another driver tries to take your turn at an intersection, even though you have the right of way, you should A. Insist on your right of way. B. Flash your headlights. C. Let the other driver proceed. Answer C. Let the other driver proceed. When emergency vehicles are using their emergency lights and sirens, you should A. Continue at your normal speed. B. Move over to the shoulder and stop if safe. C. Block the intersection to clear a path. Answer B. Move over to the shoulder and stop if safe. If you are about to cross a roadway from a private road, you should A. Slow down and continue if no traffic is visible. B. Yield only to larger vehicles. C. Stop and yield to all traffic on the roadway. Answer C. Stop and yield to all traffic on the roadway. When is it permissible to make a left turn on red from a one way street onto another one way street? A. Any time, without stopping. B. After making a complete stop and yielding to all traffic and pedestrians. C. Only during non peak traffic hours. Answer B. After making a complete stop and yielding to all traffic and pedestrians. What should you do when approaching a school bus with flashing yellow lights? A. Slow down and prepare to stop. B. Continue driving at your normal speed. C. Only stop if children are visible. Answer A. Slow down and prepare to stop. On a highway divided by a median, when a school bus on the opposite side has stopped with red flashing lights, should cars on the opposite side stop? A. Yes, they should always stop. B. No, they are not required to stop. C. No, they can continue at normal speed. Answer. B. No, they are not required to stop. When is it prohibited to pass on a two-lane road? A. In areas marked by a solid yellow line on the right of the center line. B. When traffic is heavy. C. During night time. Answer. A. In areas marked by a solid yellow line on the right of the center line. How do you know you are safe to return to the right lane after passing on a two-lane road? A. When you feel you are far enough ahead. B. After driving for 10 seconds. C. When you can see the vehicle you passed in your rearview mirror. Answer. C. When you can see the vehicle you passed in your rearview mirror. What is the first action to take before passing on a two-lane road? A. Activate your left turn signal. B. Accelerate and move to the left lane. C. Check for any do not pass signs or solid yellow lines. Answer. A. Activate your left turn signal. Under which condition is passing on the right permissible? A. When the vehicle ahead is making a left turn and there is sufficient road width. B. On any two-lane road. C. When the vehicle ahead is moving too slowly. Answer. A. When the vehicle ahead is making a left turn and there is sufficient road width. What should you do before completing a passing maneuver within 200 feet of an oncoming vehicle? A. Increase your speed to pass quickly. B. Return to the right lane. C. Continue in the passing lane. Answer. B. Return to the right lane. When passing a motorcyclist traveling in the same lane, a driver must 
A. Share the lane with the motorcyclist. B. Pass closely to the motorcyclist. C. Pass in an adjacent lane. Answer. C. Pass in an adjacent lane. What is the minimum speed reduction required when passing a bicycle in the same lane, if unable to change lanes? A. 5 miles per hour below the speed limit. B. 10 miles per hour below the speed limit or 25 miles per hour, whichever is greater. C. No reduction is required. Answer. B. 10 miles per hour below the speed limit or 25 miles per hour, whichever is greater. How much clearance should a vehicle provide when passing a bicycle? A. At least 1 foot. B. At least 3 feet. C. At least 6 feet. Answer. B. At least 3 feet. What is the rule regarding lane weaving to move faster than the flow of traffic? A. It is allowed during low traffic. B. It is permitted for experienced drivers. C. It is unlawful to weave through lanes to move faster. Answer. C. It is unlawful to weave through lanes to move faster. How should you approach an intersection for a right turn? A. In any lane, as long as you signal. B. In the left lane, to make the turn wider. C. In the right lane, staying as close as practicable to the curb. Answer. C. In the right lane, staying as close as practicable to the curb. What should you do with your wheels while waiting to make a left turn? A. Keep them turned to the left. B. Keep them straight. C. Keep them turned to the right. Answer. B. Keep them straight. What does the walk signal on the crossing street correspond to at most intersections? A. The red light on the roadway you are traveling. B. Pedestrians are not allowed to cross. C. The green light on the roadway you are traveling. Answer. C. The green light on the roadway you are traveling. On a multi-lane, two-way highway, when is it permissible to drive to the left of the center line? A. Only when making a left turn. B. Whenever there are no vehicles in the opposite lane. C. At any time for overtaking. Answer. A. Only when making a left turn. What should you do before backing up your vehicle? A. Rely on your rearview mirror for a clear view. B. Turn your head and look over your right shoulder. C. Honk to alert others. Answer. B. Turn your head and look over your right shoulder. What qualifies a driver as a super speeder in Georgia? A. Driving 75 miles per hour or more on a two-lane road. B. Speeding in a school zone. C. Driving 10 miles per hour over the speed limit on any road. Answer. A. Driving 75 miles per hour or more on a two-lane road. What is the general speed limit in urban or residential districts in Georgia? A. 25 miles per hour. B. 30 miles per hour. C. 35 miles per hour. Answer. B. 30 miles per hour. What is the speed limit on an unpaved county road in Georgia? A. 30 miles per hour. B. 35 miles per hour. C. 40 miles per hour. Answer. B. 35 miles per hour. What is the required stopping distance from the nearest rail at a railroad crossing? A. At least 15 feet, but not more than 50 feet. B. Exactly 30 feet. C. At least 10 feet, but not more than 40 feet. Answer. A. At least 15 feet, but not more than 50 feet. What is the penalty for driving too slowly and impeding traffic in Georgia? A. Warning only, no fine. B. Fine up to $500 and or two points on the driving record. C. 
fine up to $1,000 and earn three points on the driving record. Answer, C, fine up to $1,000 and earn three points on the driving record. For what reasons might mobile work vehicles display flashing lights and arrows? A. For decoration purposes only. B. To direct traffic or indicate hazardous conditions. C. To signal that they are turning. Answer. B. To direct traffic or indicate hazardous conditions. In Georgia, the speed limit on all roads is determined solely by the type of road and never varies based on local conditions. True or false? Answer, false. In Georgia, the superspeeder law applies only on highways and interstates. True or false? Answer, false.